And Milo says good morning from Cookville, Tennessee at the Cracker Barrel. Here we are. It's a beautiful day. We woke up and the battery was down to 9%. And the little battery is at uh, 36%. Everything's unplugged at the moment. We're going to take Milo for a little walk this morning around the area. I slept so well last night. I was next to a um, police barracks, state police barracks. Can't get safer than that. So the only thing I wish was that Cracker Barrel had electric in the bathroom. And I could blow dry my hair a little bit. So, anyway, that's okay. Van here, don't care. Nobody cares. So here we are. And inside the van, we're just having a little cup of coffee here. I cheated and went out and got the coffee from Cracker Barrel because I didn't want to run my coffee pot off of my battery and suck out the rest of the power. It's amazing how you have to think of these things. At home, you don't think of that stuff. You just go make your coffee and go to the bathroom and do your thing. And in here, when you're living in the van, you got to really think about all kinds of stuff. And I think that's part of why I like it. Because you are got to be thinking all the time. And if you're not thinking all the time, your brain kind of just, I don't know, goes on slow-mo or something. But, yeah, that's, that's the thing that I like about it. I'm going to go slow so you can see the cabinet. Here's my little thing that holds everything. Right now, the fans are locked down. That's I found this is the best way to keep them from moving around and having to put them away and take them out. I just clip them right to that little tray there. And that tray is bungee corded to the, um, the thing that's behind it right there. That little thing. That rock right there came from Johnny's place. It sparkles. Can't see it right now, but it does sparkle. So there's the fans up there. And the refrigerator is not plugged in at the moment. I gotta resolve that problem before I go on the road and figure out what I want to do about that. Because I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a bigger refrigerator and freezer. And I'm probably gonna try to have my front seat taken out for that. But oh there we go. So coming around behind me, we put some I was at Johnny's shop and they were throwing out some styrofoam. So I took the styrofoam and I stuck it to the window behind my pillows. And I'll tell you what a difference that made on keeping me warm at night. Because that cold up against the window was a little much on my back. And there's my little sticker from Tennessee. All right. And. Let's see here, we can move this down a little bit. And there's my sticker from Mona, this being life of mine. It's kind of covered with my light, but you can see all my stickers on the door. Yeah. And my butterflies up there. And then over this way, we have got all the packing bags up there and they fit up there just great so yeah and come over this way there's a little pin right there from midwest van builders that's johnny's company out in missouri she did my max air fan and she helped me out so much with this huge power bank, 2,000 watts. So my electrical needs are all taken care of. As long as the sun's shining, if I'm gonna have rainy days traveling, that's gonna be a different story. I'll probably have to go to a campground and pay to hook up to electric. But 
Where's Milo? Here's Milo. Say hi, Milo. Look at him out there just smelling and smelling the air. He's just having a grand old time. He's loving this too. Because he's got me to himself, you know. 24-7 for the two weeks that I'm on this trip. So there's some Charlie Bears on the counter that he just didn't want because I had chicken from Cracker Barrel last night. Yeah, I probably should have cooked myself, but you know what? I just didn't feel like cooking, so I treated myself. I haven't had to pay to park anywhere, so, you know, that's saving me money. But I haven't really spent a lot of money on this trip. I have spent about um, $200 in gas to get here, and so far I have spent uh, 30 60 100 bucks so far to get home and I'm not quite halfway there but I'm taking some side trips so that's okay because that's what it's all about getting out to see what's going on so all right folks that's my little story for now all right I'll see you on the next video thanks for watching I've got to go walk Milo you folks have a great day I know I will Bye for now.